this video is going to go with the Alex topic, finding the magnitude of forces for an object on a ramp. So there's going to be a lot going on here. These are not easy problems, but we can do them. They use trig and right triangles, which is trig, and then a uh, little bit of logic. So we've got our object on a ramp here, and we're told we need to find the magnitude of Q. So this thing right here, oh, that was hard to see. And then the weight of the brick. And the weight of the brick is going to be denoted by G because G acts as gravity pulling that brick down. All right, let's get started on that. So to find Q, we don't really know what we can do there, but Q and P are going to be the same. So if we can find P, we can find Q. And what we see here is that G is what we call the resultant vector of C and P. In other words, G equals C, not equals C plus P. Oh, one other super important bit of information that we are given is that this vector here has a magnitude of 13. Right, so C is equal to 13. So if G is the resultant vector of C and P, we can redraw this triangle. So I've got G here. And I've got C. And what I'm doing with P is I'm taking it from the top and I'm sliding it down here. So it's going to go in this spot. And that gives us that C plus P equals G, right? When we add vectors, we take the initial point of one and put it at the terminal point of another. Now we know that this is a right angle. And because we're told that this is 21 degrees, we can find the measure of this angle here. We know that it is also going to be 21 because of similar right triangles. And that's going to be important. So things we know so far, this angle is 21 degrees. This magnitude here is 13. And we know that we're trying to find the value of P so that we can eventually get to Q. What trig function uses the adjacent and the opposite side of a triangle? Well, we know that that is the tangent. So the tangent of that angle, that 21 degrees, equals our opposite side P over C. Filling in values that we know, that's P over 13. And so P is equal to 13 multiplied by the tangent of 21 degrees. You're going to want to make sure your calculator is in degree mode when you go to do this, otherwise you are not going to like your answer and Alex won't like your answer, and I won't like your answer. So that is zero for three. And it will tell you what to round to. In this case, it's the nearest hundredth. So we get 4.99 N for Newtons. That's our force unit. 
And we know that P and Q are acting on each other with opposite forces, which means they have to be the same. And so the magnitude of Q is 4.99N. From there, we want to find the magnitude of G, right? The weight of our brick. And we can use this same triangle. But now, instead of using tangent, right, we know that C is 13. And we have the adjacent, or this is the hypotenuse, right? Because our angle's over here. And so if we've got the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, we are going to use the cosine of 21 degrees equals C over G. And that leads me to G equals 13 divided by the cosine of 21 degrees. And when we compute that and we round, we get 13.92 newtons. So the weight of our brick is 13.92 newtons as represented by G. So again, a lot going on, but it all boils down to types of computation that you have been doing all semester. You can do this. Go slow, write things down, and check your work.